Okay, so here's just a little wrap up on the CER for part one, okay, in case you need some help with that, okay? Um, all right, so your claim, right, remember, should be um, your verbal model. Why does this pen look so weird? Ugh, okay, all right, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, and your evidence, right, you should have your graph, which should have current here in amps, in voltage here in volts, okay, and then you should have uh, the line, okay, all right, so you can see that as the voltage increases, the current also increases, okay, so that's what should become your claim, okay, right, basically that verbal model from your graph, all right, um, okay, in your um, evidence, if you'd like to write the math model, you can, Okay, amps per volt times volt, we'll go over this in a minute, uh, plus zero amps, okay? Um, also in your evidence, it might be nice to see like a little picture of the simulation, maybe a description of what you did, okay? To get those numbers might be nice to have in there, okay? Um, you could possibly even have your data table in there, okay? All that stuff will count as your evidence, okay? All right, so for reasoning, let's go through how we got this graph in case you're not sure, okay? So you had your current here, okay, in amps, and your voltage here in volts, and you had a line, okay? And the slope of this line was probably 0.1 if you used the 10 ohm resistor, okay? If you used a different resistor as your constant, then that's gonna be different, okay? All right, so this is a line, y equals mx plus b, okay? The y variable is the current, okay? Your slope is 0.1, all right? And then we need units on the slope, right? Because remember, the slope is gonna be rise over run, okay? So my rise unit is amps, my run unit is volts, okay? So this is gonna be amps per volt, okay? Times the x variable, that's that, okay? which is voltage, right? Plus my y-intercept right here is zero volts, zero amps. Okay, so this is gonna be zero amps, okay? All right, so that's how you're getting that mathematical model. If you wanna write it in symbols, current is I, okay, 0.1 amps per volt, voltage is V, okay? And you can really just leave that off, right? Because that's plus zero, who cares, okay? All right, so that's how you got the math model. Now, in your reasoning, you need to explain a couple of things, okay? So I would explain uh, intro sentence, right? Basically what you did, okay? Uh, maybe something about your graph, right? Like the verbal model, okay? Um, state your math model, okay? And then as part of your math model, you want to explain the slope and the y-intercept, okay? All right, so the slope being 0.1 amps per volt, okay? Which if we write that for every statement, for every one volt increase, the current increases by 0.1 amps. Okay, right, so you want to explain uh, what the slope means in a statement, okay? And then also, you want to say what that means, okay? So, when the voltage increases, the current also increases, okay? Voltage is basically the battery's push, right? And current is the charge flow, okay? So I want you to say something like, when the battery pushes harder, then more charges can flow, right? When the voltage increases, the current increases. The harder the battery pushes, which is the voltage, means more charges can flow, a higher current. Okay, that's important to add. <clears throat> okay, all right, the y-intercept being zero volt, zero amps, means when the voltage is zero volts, the current is zero amps, okay? So let's think about what that means, same thing, okay? When the voltage is zero, what is the battery doing? 
Okay, if the voltage is zero, that means the battery is not pushing, right? So when the battery is not pushing, the current is zero amps, right? No charge flow, which makes sense, right? If the battery is not doing any pushing, then no charges can flow. Okay, so that's your explanation of your y-intercept. Okay, all right, the last thing that I want you to add, okay, when you start talking about uh, this equation up here, okay, your math model, right? If you can go into this, that's great. If it's too confusing, then you can skip it, right? But remember, this is related to your resistance, okay? Basically, because your slope is constant and your resistance is constant. Those are related, okay? And I can see point 0.1 is the same as 1 over 10. That's kind of how I know that, okay? Times V, okay, which gives me V over the resistance, which is what we call Ohm's law. Okay, again, even if you can't make that transition, you should still say this math model shows us Ohm's law, which is basically how I relate the current voltage and resistance in a circuit. Okay, all right, so that's kind of everything I would like to see in your reasoning. All right, and that's what I'd like to see in your reasoning, those explanations, um, the slope, the y-intercept, the math model, verbal model, Ohm's law, Okay, and then this information here where you're explaining the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, that's what I want to see.